should I do an introduction? I'm supposed to film an introduction now that I've done it. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Can I just be the YouTube channel that never does introductions to their videos? Hi, Editing EK here. So I was not being ironic. I really didn't film an introduction. Um, I'm still kind of getting used to the camera and I'm finding it quite difficult. Um, so this, I want to get this video up so that I can kind of build my confidence and keep learning. But it definitely doesn't include everything that I would want it to. So I'm going to put lots of the information like about the palette, about things that I used in the description. Um, so check that out because I didn't really say, like I don't give any information. I was very nervous, okay? So please be kind and enjoy the video. And I think that's it. Thank you. Um, I am going to use pink colours, obviously. It's got quite a good range of colours. The pink is obviously kind of the theme of the palette, but then you've got the blues down here and then a really, really, really nice, um, like, molten, or it's not quite a green gold, but it's more, you can kind of see it there, it's like a real true metallic gold and I use that on New Year's, I think, um, just on its own, which I really liked. So I've already primed my lids with the... Urban Decay um, original primer potion and I think I'm gonna do pink with like cloudy and skyline which are these two here one and two and then maybe um put that put sweet dream on the center of my lid I don't know we will see we will see what happens um I got my brush is here I'm gonna use this one first which is a real techniques kind of fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna go into cloudy there's a little bit of fallout but I don't think it's um like unbearable and I never never do my foundation before I do my eyeshadow because I think anybody that does is braver than the marines okay so I'm just gonna pop it here hang on let me zoom in a bit nope. there we go it also smells amazing it smells like strawberry sweets kind of like um you know strawberry laces that's what it smells like I'm bringing it up a little bit higher because this is like the one, this colour I want to like blend out and up whereas the other slightly darker colour I will put a little bit closer to the like inside fold the crease of my eye but I want this one to be nice and visible above the crease. I'm just going to use a blank brush, this is the Sigma E40 I think and just make sure the edges are nice and soft. Then I'm going in with Skyline. So I went in with that one first, and now I'm going in with that one. And I'm going to put this one a little bit closer to my actual crease, just basically a little bit lower down. You can kind of see there, like, the fallout even... But that's no big deal, because I can just wipe it away in a moment, because I didn't do my foundation yet. <laughs> Right, I'm going to take a bit more of Skyline and just pat it on the corner of my eyes so that I've got that kind of C shape. I have no idea if my eyelids are going to be completely stained after this because I can't remember if these are the colours that stain. I'm about to say no, they definitely don't with lots of confidence, which would have been foolish because I don't have any. Oh yeah. Oh, I think it looks cute. I'm going to take a bit more skyline up here. Okay. I kind of want to bring it. I want to darken it a little bit, but I'm kind of nervous. I think I'm going to use sunset to darken it. And this one, I'm literally putting really, really close to the crease. And then... It will just blend out into the other colours without me having to blend it all the way around and spread it and make it all kind of muddy. I think these colours do a really nice job of being very distinct. You know, like I've blended three different colours here and it's all blended together nicely, but you can see how it's got the softer outside and then the darker, like more vivid in inside. At least you can on in my mirror. I'm still kind of figuring out all the camera settings and how, you know, the focus and brightness is the most complicated. Okay, I'm just bringing that sunset colour in slightly. 
and then I'm going to go back in with Cloudy, the really light shade at the beginning. Right now, I'm going to put a nice shimmery colour, and I am going to bring it up quite high because I have hooded eyes. I want to make my eyelid, like the mobile lid, appear, appear bigger. This is from, I think, the original Naked palette, so that should tell you how old it is. Um, and it's got a nice fluffy brush on one side, and then a really nice like flat stiff brush on the other side. I'm gonna go in with Sweet Dream, which is that one. And I'm gonna put it on dry in the middle and then towards the inside, the inner corner of my lid. And then I'm gonna put a really, really like a lighter shade on the around the inner. There's two, there's one called Blue Diamond, which is blue and it's like a blue white iridescent duo chrome and then there's one called lightning which is like a gold green honestly i really like this palette if you 48 pounds is a lot of money for a, a palette even though i think this one's really good but if you keep an eye on beauty bay or whatever website and try and get it in the sale then i think 24 pounds for this was a really 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 good deal okay so i'm just bringing it i'm not having that that super not harsh i guess I think cut creases do get blended out quite nicely but I just want it to be a slightly messy transition between the nice shimmery shades and then out up into my crease colours which are matte. I don't really mind having shimmer in the crease, I think it's underrated. And I'm just building this up slowly. So I'm not really putting on a lot, like I'm not packing layers and layers of it on, I'm just putting on a tiny bit each time. Okay, that is that I'm going to go back in with Sunset and the MAC 217 brush and then I'm just taking Skyline again which was the second shade I used and just making sure it's nice and blended but without losing like the pigmentation of all the colours then I'm going to go round I like that I do like that and then I'm going to put the inner corner highlight on in a minute. I also completely forgot to do the other eye while I was going to do them both together and apparently I forgot that so let's uh, start again and I'll do this one. Alright so I've done the other eye. I think I'm going to add just a tiny bit of the darker pink. Um, maybe the, there's kind of two, I'll show you. there's two darker pinks, ruby skies and nightfall. That one's nightfall and I think I'm going to add a little bit of that like in between the Sweet Dream and the Sunset Shade on my lid. I'm just going to take the same brush that I was using, what did I think, nightfall and just put a little bit of nightfall right there. Cool. Yes, I'm happy with that. I'm trying to wipe off any fallout. I don't think there was as much on this side, I don't know why. But it feels like there wasn't. I think there's a couple of like glitter specks that I can see, but nothing major. Right, I'm gonna do the rest of my face. All right, that is that. I am not pleased with this, I think. I think it is fun and kind of spring-like without like it wasn't too complicated for me. There were, you know, it was one palette, four or five, one, two, three, four. okay, like six different shadows, whatever. This is the part where I'm supposed to ask you to like and subscribe, but I feel awkward about it. So if you could just pretend that I said it in a very kind of smooth and non salesperson y like way, that would be great. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Oh, I didn't have any settings spray on. Oh, I can't be bothered now. I knew there was something I'd forgotten.